in no time at all. The song you're hearing, titled Standing Tall, is from a pilot project of Art Education for the Blind, working with students and teachers at PS102 in Brooklyn, New York. The project was also titled Standing Tall, and the goal was to help blind and visually impaired students learn about the skills of self-presentation, including body language and posture, how to conduct an interview, how to speak in public, and in general, how to make a positive impression in the world. The lessons were supported by original songs written by music therapist Brian Muni. In April 2009, the Standing Tall students visited the Brooklyn Museum to practice their interview skills by speaking with museum curators and educators. During the visit, PS102 teachers Denise Kay, Susan Lofranco, and Phyllis Rawson talked about the value of Standing Tall lessons for their students. For, for our kids, particularly, who don't have the same visual cues maybe that you and I have, we can look around ourselves and see how other people are standing and walking and sitting. Um, this is important for them so that it just makes them think about their own body posture, where their hands are, where their feet are, in space. It's learning how other people really act in, in, in a, any social situation, how they hold themselves in a social situation, physically hold themselves. Learning how to sit up and not move all the time. Not moving all the time is something that uh, you pick up from other people. If I kept moving during an entire conversation, you'd be more focused on what I'm physically doing as opposed to what I'm saying to you. Right, we, we do tell them sometimes when they do certain things, we'll say, you know, People don't normally do that and you know you're gonna have people staring at you you don't want that we're trying to teach you the proper way to behave when you're outside so that you are not going to be stared at or made fun of and you know we want them to be able to get out there in the world and you know present themselves in a very positive light even for a student who's totally blind we always ask them to lift their head up and turn towards the person that's talking to them so that they're facing that person, even if they can't really see the person. What is your favorite piece of art? Well, one of my, there's so many pieces of art here at the museum that I don't have one. Okay, favorite. the children, because they're blind or visually impaired, a lot of them don't even know how to sometimes perceive the world. And when they learn how to interview a person and they learn how to speak to a person, they they understand more about their perception in the world around them and, and the person around them. It also gives the children conversational skills that they lack. A lot of the children don't, not all of them, but some of the children do not sit down and eat dinner with their parents and sit and just converse about everything that goes on because we're in a world of computers now, we're in a world of moms and dads both working. So the children are learning how to speak correctly, they're learning how to present themselves to somebody in a correct way, and, and it makes them feel good about themselves when they're able to accomplish that. To talk to somebody, to get an answer, and to do it in a polite way, in the way that is right. Because a lot of times, you know, the children, they're all together in their classes, and now they're meeting different people and they're able to just socialize with anybody, which is the way it should be. It's not just like, I'm a visually impaired child and I'm going to be with my visually impaired class and that's it. I can talk to anybody. I'm just as smart as anybody. I'm just as verbose as anybody. You'll be standing tall. On another visit to the Brooklyn Museum, Standing Tall students learned about the art of portraiture. Then they created their own self-portraits using art materials, photography, and costume. Music therapist Brian Muni wrote songs supporting the themes of Standing Tall, and he taught them to students to help them remember the key lessons of the project. And with your head held up high, you can reach the sky, and the land be 